Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 17 here on Blake Farms. Today, your host with the most, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Maybe not the most. Down here at Sheeps again, folks. I had to get on top of this building and check out this view. Um, got our truck down here. Uh, first of all, let me do this right here. You can see I only got $2,000 left. Um, this pallet is 88 or 98, uh, 86, okay, 86, as you can see, our pigs are good, cows are somewhat decent, just need grass, but I'm letting that get, I did have to put a bale back in since the last episode, and it's back down to that, um, sheep's gonna need some TLC here soon, get out of that but anyway this is 86 percent go to mini map you see a flashing thing down there go back to this still got a great demand for wool it's a little bit less than what it was it was 13,000 now it's 12,961 so guess what I'm going to do uh, work position I'm going to back up load up this pallet There we go. Now we're going to take this bad boy down to the market. I'm going to set a course. We're going to, we're going to do planting this episode. It might be a little bit long episode, but at the towards the end we will. It might not be that long. I don't even have sheep here, do I? Oh, well, cow to market will work. I think that's what I've been using anyway. Cow to market. And fix and drive cores. Yeah, here it gets straight. Drive cores. Stop at the last. Oh, don't hit that car. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's another thing. I don't know what's up with the traffic, but it's never been this bad. This is rush hour or something. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> I'm just going to let him do his thing. I'm, I'm going to watch that. Uh, did some maintenance on this truck. <sighs> but this trailer, I don't know. I'm going to see if I can do any maintenance on it. It's lagged out since I got corn in it. So we may have to get rid of the MT Manning trailer. That does pretty good. But um, I also started uh, cutting grass. Uh, as you can see on the mini map there, all the yellow little dots out there. Oh, come on, quit being so slow. Alright, that should be enough. I'm gonna get straight. Let's unhook it. Actually, I'm gonna turn the motor off because uh, this don't work. We're just gonna do something different. I'm just trying to get things ready for uh, no repair, no customize, so can't do nothing to it. Okay, sounds about right. Uh, give you a view down here. Uh, I got rid of the low boy trailer. It was leased. Um, the IT runner is ours. I don't know what happened to our stump grinder, but we got two stumps right there to grind. And we got all this taken out. And uh, got a whole lot more stumps over here to do. But uh, this is one of the things I want to show y'all here in a minute. We got a new mod here. And... Uh, kind of here we go I went through this wrong it's supposed to be um, bring the building materials up here first building materials is this plain wood I found that out through 
Daggerin. Uh, Y'all know Daggerin. Go to his channel. Um, I don't think he has it in a beehive. I, I mean, <laughs> in a playlist. Um, trying to find a truck here. All right. I had guys clean up around the fence line here and stuff a little bit and look how much better it looks folks but anyway how y'all doing today y'all doing all right oh 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 I cut too short I cut too short or too soon uh that thing I just showed y'all the little green trailer and the more looking thing I can't back today I done put one load one full load into the silo so that's my goal is to fill it up first and then once it gets full we'll probably go back to this regular bailing but uh we are going to make sillage bales and sell them all right that was our milk um i probably won't use this to get any more milk because it uh, just goes too fast on filling because I put a lot what 32,073 gallons into there all right we're going to go to the marketplace so uh, market oh wrong one I use cow to market second one drive course stop at the last trigger and we got our, I mean, just hop out here while that's going there. I got a bunch of things to show y'all real quick. There it is. This tractor's too small for this. It don't pull it fast enough. Um, it's this a John Deere. Um, I can't even think of the name of it. But it's a 3765. Uh, I wish you can change the heads out on these. Uh, I think in real life you can I'm not for sure but they got one that's like for uh, uh, cutting corn which we got one in a barn that will work on this and uh, no it's a two point hitch it, it still might work ain't no way oh that's our first one okay my bad stop driver Go ahead and go sell this before we reach 1600 hours because I have a feeling that great demand's going to go off then. Because I pushed my luck and ran it this long, and that rain symbol popped up, so I'm feeling a lot of things going to change at that time, which I hope not. But we are going to plant in this episode, and but we have to wait till tomorrow to plant. So I'm showing y'all these few things here real quick and then I'm going to do a jump cut till 2 tomorrow and then uh, we'll be planting. But uh, what it is, we got to take some wood, throw it in the middle of that because we <laughs> can't take a front load or anything and put the wood in there because if you watch Dagger's channel, <laughs> He gets his forks stuck in the wall and has to reset them. So we're going to do it a little bit different. So a big, huge shout out to Dagrin, to all the, my fans and family that likes him. You know, uh, pretty awesome. All right, we fix it. Whoa, oh crap. I always do that. Oh, Peterbilt's trying to slip. I may have to unload this one because this one's, yeah, I have to, let's see, unload it right there, bada boom, bada bing, our money's going up, oh, give me 20000 at least, come on, oh yeah, oh yeah, we're good, all right. 22,343 sold on wool. Just that one pallet, folks. Just imagine we get a lot of that. Hope they don't mind. I'm going to... Oh. Oh, well, I might well do this too. 
Uh, this is our slurry tanker. All our slurry is going to go towards making fertilizer right now, so why keep it, you know? 8,801 8, towards our bank account, because I need to pay off the loan. I really, 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 really need to pay off the loan. We don't need this no more because we got the auto load trailer that's back there. sell that and get this up out of their way. We're going to park over here for right now. Alright. So let's go sell this real quick. Ooh, 39000 Alright. We're going to sell that for sure. So we're up to 72000 I'm just going to do this. Oh, no, no. Wrong, wrong area. There we go. We're going to enter that. Let's see here. We got to unload some of this. So I'm going to take my straps off. Uh, um, oh, it's Z. I thought it was X. Oh, oh, oh. Stop right there. That might be enough. We're going to take uh, that piece. I know this is unrealistic, folks, but okie dokie. It's not working like it did with Daggerin. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> There we go. I was just putting in the right spot. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Scared me there for a second. I thought the game crashed. This is what the building looks like. This is the front of it. I should have moved it on over some, but it'll be all right. Now I got to pack this wood all the way around the front. Uh, I'm going to do this big one. Just to... I, I know it's not real, folks carrying a big old log like this, but I'm super blue today. Uh, 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 oh. Okay, you want to go in that way? Come on, there we go. Oh, I keep raising up too high. I might have to cut this. Dagrin had a hard time too. There we go. And it don't want to go in. Or oh, is that too much? Um, where's building? It's thirty percent. I might have to cut it too. Building timber is 30%. It's got to be 100 before this thing will work. I already got 2% milk up here. And 7% honey. Hmm. Alright, we just... Oh! Magic spots over here and I got hung up in the shelf. Now we're at 53%. Here, this is too much, or I'm just not hitting the right spot. I'm, I'm assuming I'm not hitting the right spot. Oh, come on. There we go. Back out a little bit. Swing this away. Yeah, that's going to be too much. So let's uh, cut a smaller piece. Yeah, I'm already 15 minutes in. I ain't done nothing that I was wanting to. So, uh, 
Anyway, y'all uh, pretty much know what to do now. You just put the wood in. Uh, wood trigger seems to be kind of sensitive. It, my grabbing is what it is. It's like it don't want to grab. Aha. 80%. Let's see if we can grab this and get it out of here. I guess that's just going to stay in there. Lovely. 92%. All right, folks, I'm on jump cut here. I'm going to try to get this piece out because, but, uh, yeah, I will be right back and uh, show y'all the rest of this as soon as I get it finished built. Be right back. All right. I got the milk here. Um, go ahead and. Unload it real quick. It's uh, the right stick, I think. Uh, tip side back. Unload milk is R. And it took every single bit of it. Wow. Shut this motor off. Yeah, I still got that motor running on that truck. But uh, on this side, it's got the picture of milk, a loading zone. Uh, if you use the B trailer, which we're going to need to get, uh, there's milk on that side too. Okay. But you put your pallets of honey in here, and they go on that shelf right there. So I might have to bring some of them up and uh. Oh, I was going to show you. And you can see right there, build materials, 99%. That's close I can get it. We're 56% on milk, so. But, uh, what do I have, 33,000 liters? So about 66,000, somewhere in there, probably. Um, honey, oh, I got, I got zero. Yeah, that's zero percent. Look like a two. That's zero. Uh, showing a honey milk is ten percent. Now I do not know where we load honey milk from. Uh, didn't watch that far in the video, Dagrin. I watched three episodes, but he was also farming stuff too. So I'm pretty sure, probably in the same spot, but. He never went up this ladder, so I'm going to go up this ladder real quick. See what's up here. Okay, just an attic. Air conditioners look like. That's pretty neat. Even got a light switch there. So let's see if we can load some honey milk up. Um... It don't give a uh, icon. Let me circle back around again. I gotta take that wood there back and put it in a wood chipper. I'm gonna go real slow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Load honey milk. It's over. Okay, it's on this side. Oh, wrong one. 5,000 liters of honey milk. Let's go see how much we get for 5,000 liters. And we take the honey milk over to here. This is a sales all point. And load zone should be right here. Oh, right there is that. Time to unload. And we got 
$3,108 for 5,000 liters. Not bad, but could be a lot better. I'm hung up. I need to set a course play back here to deliver uh, milk only. But I'm going to make a road down through here, folks. And there's going to be different factories and stuff down through here. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. But anyway, I'm going to deliver this wood to the uh, wood chip area or the wood chipper. And uh, we'll be back in a minute to do the mower, new mower thing. i got to find a bigger tractor for it. I might try to buy another tractor because we really need one. So uh, I'll be right back with that decision. All right, folks. I just want to bring you back real quick. As you can see, these symbols here. Uh, we got bees. I guess that's honey, milk, and honey milk, I guess. I'm not for sure, but, uh, well, there we go. I brought a beehive up here, and uh, what we've been putting in there, little bees things, and uh, we're going to see if we can sell it. We got $4,902. Whoa. I don't like it when it does that. Which we got 40 le Oh! Oh, I thought it disappeared. And it did. And we got uh, $150 for that. For 40 liters is $150. So you can sell your beehives here too if you don't want to make honey and stuff. But uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I it shows B three thousand, but then again, that was forty liters. So it's three thousand dollars for a thousand liters worth of them. So I guess we can throw a bunch of them in a trailer. Well, I don't know. But anyway, uh, I'm going to get this truck back to the shop, and uh, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Got a little work to do off screen. And uh, not that I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'll, I'll want to take a jump cut till tomorrow morning and uh, pick this video back up there. So see you in a second in real time. Okay? Be right back. All right, everybody. We are officially fixing the plant. Show y'all this. This is the um, what is it? Seventh day, and uh, we are green to plant soybeans and corn. Um, hey, sheep has been born. All right. Uh, we're gonna be planting corn first. Um, to show you here, this is where we're going to start at. We're going to go up and down until we get to about here. I think on this end, when we get to this point right here, I'm going to stop them. And we're just going to plant this corner. So uh, let's, let's get the ball going, okay? Uh, I'm not going to save this as this uh, one-time deal. So uh, let's drive this course. Um, drive now. Why are we not working? Okay. I guess we're not going to. Nearest waypoint. Now, let's make sure a stop driver. I do have. 
I think I had to have it on that. Let's let's try it now. There we go. Uh, if y'all seen that, it's got to be on seeds and fertilize. I keep forgetting. But there he goes. We are planting maize, corn. Um, like I said, when he gets to here, we're going to stop. So uh, let's jump into our other tractor, which should have been filled up. But I think we got enough. This thing uses less seeds than I can even imagine. Uh, going to be... Oh, crap. I shut it off. We're going to be using this uh, GPS, and I wish this box wasn't this big, but I'm going to eliminate that so we all can see. All right, we got it lowered. Let's go. I put a hold on mowing for right now. Uh, the tractors are still over there, but we're going to go up to field six, take care of that, and then come down to seven and four when we do mow but that'll probably be the next episode um right now i just want to get this done i'm going to do probably a couple headlands right here i'm going to go down around these poles in other words and get around these poles because i know the ai worker's not going to do it but right now we it's hard to get that right there so this is the way I've been doing just kind of do it like that so when we go do the combining we don't have to go all up in those poles but uh yeah we're officially planting corn um I'm gonna let this hire real quick this hire worker uh, who we got? We got Jacob. Got my son on a planter. Who's on a Udden? Uh, I don't give a name. Uh, Maxan. All right, Maxan is helping us out. Um, get back on this. Make sure nothing's going to be in the way. We'll get this little corner knocked out, and then I'll do some more. But I want to explain to y'all a few things. Uh, cows are in need of some care here pretty soon so next episode might be doing that um, sheep's going to need some I just took care of the pigs and clean everything uh, as you can see all the cleanness is 100% uh, I took the liquid manure uh, I didn't even worry about the pigs because they didn't have enough I took the liquid manure from the cows took it down so we can start making fertilizer that's running. We already got 16,000 liters of milk, folks. That's awesome. But they're going to need some water here in a little bit. So probably next episode. I got time on one. Um, I hope a planter is... Yeah, we're doing maize corn. Okay. As you can see, he's already down here. Uh, yeah, he would leave a skip. We're going to watch our magnum. Let's see. Can I close this out and it's still going? I think so. You can see right here, we it won't take very much and we'll be having to fill this thing up. Let's see what course play does. Oh, this is going to be Bad. I just have a feeling this is going to be bad. You're going too far in, brother. I mean, sister. Maxan, where are you going? Oh, you backed up, but it's down. I, I love this planner so much, but it will not hire a worker. Me or the AI worker or both of them's AI but you know what I mean the advanced AI won't work either as long as she backs up that far and makes a turn she should be alright across there I 
Um, you can go forward now. Max Ann. And just show you that I'm not doing this. Yeah, you can see Max Ann up in there. Oh, now she decides to go forward. Is she turning? Yeah, she's turning now. Oh, God, she's going to be slow. And she's taking care of the equipment, so that's all that matters. I got this guy peeled up. I'm gonna let him make another, or, or Jacob make another round before uh, we take care of him. Oop, almost hit the tank. This thing here is so short, it's so hard to back, along with these trailers. Now I got two trailer loads in here so far in in the silo, and we'll take a look and see how much grass, I mean how much silage we got. Once I get hooked up, and there we go. Um, oh, no, shut that off. I'm just about in a hole. Ah, uh, this thing's tall. 99,817, folks, is the silage, um, which is 14%. So we got a long ways to go. Grass is empty, so it's done process the grass overnight. So it fragments fast but how this thing works the, the blower over here on the side blows it up to the top all the new stuff is up there and it, like I said down here it turns to silage and it emptied out from the bottom when you pull out of this pipe here it pulls from the bottom not the top so that's how that works but if you really want to see it, just go to how farm works and uh <laughs> yeah. Uh this truck here, I'm wanting this trailer down to the other shop. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that real quick. I did set uh B market to B making, which has just the market shop back over to the woods there. So cow to main farm. Yep. Let's go ahead and get up here. All right, and drive course. Stop at the last. Oh, oh, Jacob. Oh, Jacob, what are you doing, Jacob? Ooh, Jacob's a woman. Huh. All right. Oh, we are looking pretty good. This thing doesn't turn very sharp at all. Oh, oh, don't, don't, don't go in the ditch. Don't go in the ditch. All right. Oh, try to get to this little nudge here. And see how Maxanne is coming along. All right, she's heading back. All right, I'm going to have to do... A uh, couple headlands here. Probably should just go up and down this way, but I don't know if it will actually cut it or not. But I was going to see who that was, but I didn't. But also trying to figure out what would be halfway of this. Also, um, I'm thinking about pretty much like right here is halfway but I want to probably just go to the end of this I want like maybe a round uh, see that's shown way over half but I think what I want is enough like two rounds right here these two rounds right here I think should be far enough out where the combine just can come on down this way or whichever way it's going to go and I don't have to fold up or anything you can just uh, make it through there to get to where it needs to go I 
I wish the markers would work on this one. That'd be so nice. But uh, yeah, we're just in our 6R. I didn't put the duals on because we don't need them. When this guy gets done planting, we're going to put him on the uh, forager chapter deal that's over on the Magnum. Um, just don't have enough horsepower. The Magnum don't to pull that thing when it's going. So we'll switch these out and see where we'll go from there. Alright, and that wasn't too bad. We're going to do the other end real quick. Ah, there we go. The only thing I hate about this planter, it does that behind it. even when it's raised. Alright, I didn't check to see the rest that was good. Oh yeah, missed a spot there, didn't he? Magnum is slipping. Oh no, I know what that means. Alright, what I'm going to do is get him started here and I'll do the end later. we got to go down there and see what's wrong with Max Sand. That's pretty much how I'm going to do around these poles right there anyway, folks. Alright, I'm going to hire a worker. Oh... Stop driver. I didn't want to. Oh man, I deleted that course out. Up. All right, did it generate it back? Same way. Okay, it did. It, it looks like it's the same, folks. So that should be good to go. get the eyeball out. I'm going to go ahead and do across this end here real quick. I probably need to save that, but I think we'll be all right. Man, I know this probably ain't going to give enough room, but I think I'm going to shut it off right there. Because I want to make sure our other tractor over there don't go past our point. But yeah, I think I'm going to trade this one in for the other DB60. There's only thing about this and it does all of it. Whoa. I need weight, more weight on the front of this thing or something. Alright, kind of back up, get square here. And we should pick you up when I hit drive course. Oh, I'm going to put a marker in where I planted. 
Oh well, they don't recognize it because but that should work. Alright, um, what is this? Oh, okay. Stop driver. We're just gonna let him be. Um, let's take a look at our chickens while we're here. And they're good for now. We're at 42 chickens now. So the next chicken is in 10 hours. And speaking of that, our cow, I have not seen yet register yet. So I don't know re really if we're going to have any cows making or not. Uh, eight hours on the next sheep, 62 hours on the next pig. Thought about getting about 10 more after we get our crops in. Um, I don't think there's anything to show y'all down here yet. I took that load of wood, drop some over here, drop some over in a wood chipper. We are up to... 92,141 wood chips and the price is going up at the pallet selling point so uh, pallet selling the point oh you've got to take the wood chips and make pallets out of um okay or thing stop we got another beehive here Oop. I heard the bees buzzing alright so these things are actually worth more than anything. Let's see, these two front ones are full. And that is making... I think I'm going to put one in... Oh, oh, oh man. I'm going to put one in this one so it can be making. Can I throw in there? No, I cannot. I always get hung up right in here. These are getting in my eyes. There we go. Now we got one in that. And we have one in... Okay. Is that going to be the difference in the two? Well, that's not going to work. I'm going to let that go and see what it does. But I kind of wish I put that one in, in here. I don't know how we deliver it that way. I need boxes. But the other thing I have noticed, we'll get back to the planners here in a second. We have two pallets of uh, these things. And there is a trigger point right here, folks. I'm going to show you all real quick. I don't know if you can see it. There's a, a big yellow square box. You see the yellow lines around the whole building. And right here around the water thing here is another trigger. This box don't have one, I don't think. It looks like... Another line here. That might be off the, the truck. I'm not for sure, but yeah. And over here, there's not no trigger for those. So I, I really don't know what's up with them. But, but anyway, let's uh try to find our planters again. All right, good. Uh. Pepper Jesse, Max Ann must have got frustrated with me and and uh, decided to let Jesse take it. All right, we know she does good, or he does good on this end. So, uh, oh, see, th this is uh, why <laughs> that was close to getting to that end right there. I totally forgot about it. Go ahead and plant this out. Uh, 
That's one thing about it, you do the ends, you still got a little bit you got to do. But, uh, there ain't no problem. If you turn the planter on and off, it, you'll get, like, enough miles per hour. <laughs> I'll just leave it on. But anyway, we, we got this side here done pretty good. And, uh... I think a round with this planter would be plenty wide enough on the other end over there. So that, what do we probably do since uh, Jesse's going to take a little bit longer getting to uh, over to that. And we'll probably have to hire a fire on each end uh, over on this end, you know, because they're probably will come out too far and get hung up like it did right go next to the chickens. Alright, sorry for the awkward view folks. I'm just trying to get my head lens done here real quick. Alright, and what I'm going to do here is just like this right here. Well, I think I got a little too close, but that'd be alright. Ten mile an hour is really too fast with this planter plant, but it gets the job done. Ooh, well, lead mile an hour, I guess. Uh, where's my GPS lines? Oh. See, that's another thing. There's, you should be seeing my GPS lines right now, and I have to restart the whole game in order for them to come back. Uh, something totally wrong there somewhere somehow. Uh, that didn't line up like I wanted it to. So. Um, See, Jesse's way down there coming back this way, so we got plenty of time for a little bit. I, I really don't know how long I've been recording for, folks, so I am totally sorry I have to go, but um, I'm just going to keep my eye on the beehives. Oop, I'll get that spot when I come back through. Um, I'm going to do them as we plant. Um, I do want to check on something before we go, so let me get to the end here. And uh, check out real quick. I want to see where our wheat's at on harvesting. Okay, let's check that out real quick. Let's go to growth. Okay, so it, the grass is the only thing that's ready to harvest right now. Let's go out of here and go into our season mods. And this is what I was expecting. Um, I think we're on the eighth day. Let me look at that. Uh, yes, we're on eighth day so we got one more day of late spring and then we'll be into uh, early summer so but if you look at this our wheat's going to be ready to harvest in what two days maybe three we'll go three days and then do a harvest but it's canola barley and wheat so, um, yeah, and we'll get to plant again here pretty soon, too, so that's good, but we'll plant it here, but nothing will happen until this time again next year, so midsummer or 
early summer, midsummer, somewhere along in there is when we do wheat. So, but we can go ahead and plant it and get it in the ground. So, uh, about three days on that, and be ready to ready to harvest the wheat. So, but anyway, folks, I done been recording this for 27 minutes, so. I got a bunch of clips before this to put in, so it's probably uh, time for me to get off. Let's see. I'm going to go down here, find my GPS line. And yeah, I'm probably going to have to straighten this out some. But anyway, folks, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. and. Like I said, I know I'm sorry if it took so long to get to planting, but I had to throw those juicy details in that was beforehand. Oh no! Let's go check her, check out Jesse real quick. Okay. Uh, stop driver. And oh, I did that again. No, no. How could I? I gotta quit doing that. Fail to calculate. I turn the eye on, make sure it's the same. Okay, we're raising up. Uh, yes, we are the same. We have, uh, let's see, we're on that until so it's one round. And that, that's round. That's around so three rounds. Yep, three rounds to get that mark right there. And that mark we're gonna try to just go through. So um we'll get that off, get that back. And it looks like we're Oh, turn, 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 turn. Good on this end. Came out about perfect. All right. Uh, back up here. I need to get my GPS started. Because I know I'm going to have to finish some of this. All right. Drive right, course. There goes the GP, uh, I mean the marker down. Can't zoom in while this is open. And we are planting. Let's see. Uh, Hepper seven stars. All right, seven stars. Thank you. Uh, okay, I can't. Can't do GPS right now. So what I'm going to do is stop driver. Back up a little bit. I know I backed up in the ground. Oh, shame on me. And then I'm going to hit new. I see, I ain't getting my GPS lines. But that will work right there. And I'll just uh, turn that off. And then we'll go drive course. That way. Of course, I know it. I'm gonna have to probably do it again when we get over a little bit further, and uh, make sure GPS is online because I probably have to do some of that without the course play. But anyway, folks, I'm gonna get this other planner going again, and uh, finish this up. And I will see y'all next time. Um, for, I'll probably go ahead and finish all this field myself off screen. And then have the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to clean that up. Have the uh, planters in the big field down south. Down there. And uh, we'll go... Oh, oh, oh. I don't want to do that. Didn't want to engage. I want 
try to clean this up. But anyway, folks, um, thank you so much for hanging with me. And um, sorry it took so long getting to the planting, like I said. And I hope I see y'all next time, which will be tomorrow. I'm going to go over here just a little bit. Probably about right there. I think a through with that other planter would be about right on that. So I'm going to wait before I do that. But folks, uh, thank you so much for all your love and support and comments and stuff. Thank you so much for all that. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure you uh, share me with your friends. Hit that like button on your way out. Uh, if you're new, subscribe to my channel. I do this every day at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. And I see, uh, make sure you hit the bell button. And to all my old ones, thank you so much. And even to my new ones, thank you for serving. Ooh, I mean smashing that red button. Yeah, there we go. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I will see y'all later.